talking about that because all you hear every day on the news is this new district going remote, fully remote, and yet we still at hybrid. We did a voluntary remote for a week after right. after uh, Thanksgiving because you knew kids are coming back from college and other people are traveling from some of the nasty states <laughs> into yeah. the Commonwealth. And uh, it, you opted to, to keep the schools closed and go remote. I know that upset a lot, a lot of people, but look at these numbers that we're dealing with right, compared right. to the other towns. We're doing so much better. And, and I, I mean, like when I worked for the city of Boston, you know, part of my job was um, I was doing the infectious disease investigation for the state and the CDC. And, you know, I've loved the holidays because all of the sick people, mostly college kids and um, employees that would come and commute into Boston would go home. And then we'd break the cycle of illness, you know, would they typically be out for at least an incubation period. And we wouldn't have, you know, the activity that we had um, right. prior to the holiday. And then when you look at it on the other side, now I'm now I'm inheriting all of that. Yeah, and yeah. I'm, I'm put in charge of caring for all that. And um, and and it's exactly as we thought. You know, we had I think that Monday Monday or Tuesday before Thanksgiving, I inherited no less than 10 collegiate cases. And then that just continued to grow um, as we approached uh, the holiday. And then on the it, back side. Is that, is that just, is, is, do you think that's from their living environment, like the dorms? Or do you think, you know, the group houses? Or was it like sports related? Was it class related? Do you know? It, I mean, in college, it's just, a, it's a, it's a, it's a collection of all of that. I mean, it's, you've got, you know, you, you look at a place like UMass, you've got yeah. over 25,000 people. Like in Southwest where I live, you have over 5,000 people living on top of each other in a, a small quarter, you know, what is it? It's like a four acre parcel, something like that. It's great. Sure. It's one of the high, highest densities in the United States. And, and it's just, you can't help but, have contact with people. You're riding the elevators with them. You're uh, you're you're walking past people in the hall. You're using the same restrooms. I mean, you just have all of these, you know, opportunities for exposure. And um, and and it it exists in all you know all colleges. And then you factor in, you know, I mean, most people know I was a fraternity president. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you throw like a few parties in. The, the bar scene, it's, they're just, inc they're incredible opportunities for, you know, super spreading. And, Are there bars colleges? I didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, you know, <laughs> so it's, um, and, and it's, 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 I mean, it's this, this, my history, my experience is, it's helpful in this. It's like, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta manage these risks and some universities have done a really good job. Um, and then some of some of that issue. And uh, so we knew that we were going to get, you know, positive college kids back. 